All right, so in the last video, we covered a CBO-based scaling strategy, campaign budget optimization scaling. In this video, we're gonna cover, uh, I think it's a, it's a lesser known strategy, uh, but nonetheless, this deals with ad set level optimization. So we're gonna, we're gonna optimize our, our budgets for the day on the ad set level. We're not gonna use CBO for this one. Um, and we're gonna do some micro bidding, okay? So what I want you to understand about this specific strategy, um, it is gonna scale quite well horizontally, which we'll cover in a little bit in the video once we get there. Um, but the logic of it is that we're gonna optimize a campaign for conversions. Let's say that we're optimizing it for purchase, okay? And I'm gonna go after whatever audience I think is most probable to convert. Um, my daily budget though is gonna be set to only $3. I've also tested this at $1.50 a day and I found that it works quite well there. But let's use the example that it's $3, okay? I can have dynamic creative set up. Um, I can have two to eight individual ads set up if I want to. It doesn't really matter from that perspective. And let's use the example that I'm gonna target the US and Canada. Yeah, you can target wherever you want, it doesn't necessarily matter. And let's use the example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this here um, look-alike audience, one from the US and one from Canada, just as examples, okay? So what I'm gonna do, after I've got my targeting complete, after I have my ads selected or my ads created, and I've got my campaigns published, I'm gonna go back and duplicate the ad set a total of 99 times. I want 99 total individual ad sets. Okay, so let's use the example. I select my ad, uh, you know, I've officially got it published and I'm going back to my, uh, my campaign level. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my ad set and I'm gonna duplicate it 99 times. So I'm gonna end up with a campaign with 99 total ad sets in it and each one is optimized for $3. In other instances, you can also test at $1.50 a day. The logic of doing this is that Facebook has disclosed to us as advertisers that those initial impressions that we get on our ads are optimized to go after the people who are literally the most probable to convert based on our objectives that we're optimizing our campaigns for. So if I'm optimizing a campaign for purchase and I have this lookalike audience uh, set up with 2.4 million people in it as an example out of each one of these individual ad sets They're gonna go after the people who are most probable to convert that are most probable to purchase now with this type of campaign And this many ad sets um, just to be clear you can automate this quite easily with automated rules uh, But I would initially encourage you to do it manually so you can get a feel for how it works and then automate the rules from there um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna be mindful of every couple hours, you know, usually every two to three hours I like to go in, um, and I like to cut a majority, meaning more than half of the ad sets that it's still not gotten a purchase after about two to three hours from the campaign launching and you see some reach start getting distributed on the, on the, um, the ad sets themselves. You're gonna go in and you're gonna cut more than 50 of them. So after it gets to a certain level of reach, still didn't get any purchases, just go in and cut more than half. So you're gonna be left roughly you know, 49 to 48 different ad sets. You could cut more than that if you wanted to. A few of them should have already gotten some purchases because keep in mind, they're going after the people who are most probable to convert first. So what's gonna end up happening is on a day-to-day -day basis, you might end up going in you know, every two to three hours if you launch it in the morning or you launch it at midnight and you wake up and you check it first thing. Um, what you're gonna see is that a few of these ad sets will have gotten purchases and they'll be really low cost per purchase, like literally a dollar or two. Um, and accumulatively, meaning like after you looked at all 99 of them, your cost per purchase, your return on ad spend should be significantly higher than if you, if you just had a singular ad set by itself optimized um, for all of that daily budget just inside of one ad set. So what you can do to scale these throughout the day is you can go from $3 up to $20 you can go from $20 up to $50. And then at the end of each day, you go back and you reset all 99 of your ad sets to $3 and you turn them all back on and you start to test again at midnight. So this is a very consistent way to get really profitable sales. Um, it's a really consistent way to go after one specific audience quite aggressively to get in front of the people who are most probable to convert um, for really cheap. 
and to get really cheap cost per purchases. Uh, your, R, your return on ad spend should be through the roof in this method. Um, and the coolest part about it, in my opinion, for what I like, um, is just the fact that you reset it all at midnight and you get to start again from the beginning. So I mentioned at the beginning of this video that it's a great strategy to scale horizontally as well, meaning in this scenario, I'm targeting a specific set of lookalike audiences. But let's say I have five different lookalike audiences that I want to go after. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to duplicate the campaign that has my 99 different ad sets in it, and I'm just simply going to change what audiences I'm targeting in those ad sets to a new audience. It might be a new lookalike, you know? And all I'm doing when I try this, when I scale horizontally, is I'm just enabling the same strategy of 99 different ad sets optimized for $3 a day, the same ads, just optimized for a different audience. And so I can do that for however many different audiences that I have to test. So you might end up with, let's say, five different campaigns, each one with 99 different ad sets in it, and you're going to have one audience tested in each one of these campaigns throughout your 99 ad sets. So it's a really great strategy to scale horizontally. So rather than starting off the daily budgets at $6 the next day or you know, at $20 the next day, that would, that would go against the micro bidding. What you're going to do instead is scale horizontally. So you're just going to attempt to add more audiences when you want to scale the strategy up and get more customers each day. And you're going to still use the micro ad sets. You're still going to use the $3 a day um, in order to get your results. Try this out. It works wonders. Um, depending on what products you have or what you're optimizing your campaigns for, it might be applicable. But I always encourage this as a test. It's really cool. Um, it's really great on your return on ad spend. You're going to get customers for really cheap. And you just want to make sure that you're monitoring it throughout the day. So every two to three hours or so, just go into the account, check it, cut the turds. Um, you can let the winners ride or you can scale the winners up a little bit and then uh, see how it works for you. And just remember, at the end of each day, make sure that you reset everything back to what you started at at $3 a day or $1.50 a day as an example and make sure that you turn all of them back on. Um, that way it's a day-by-day -day test. And when you want to scale, scale horizontally. I'll see you guys in the next video.